we came up uh, with this phrase, Elita flexes and bends, but never breaks. Um, yeah, as you might think, well, this needs some explanation, right? So, uh, the stories we heard were quite diverse. They had to do with leaders of student choirs, sport instructors for children, um, a president, uh, a student president for, his, for a high school, and um, the essence of all these very diverse stories was basically uh, that we found out a leader needs two things, commitment and perseverance. Uh, what was it? No, perseverance, right? Okay, so, um, so the first thing, commitment was when we noticed, okay, well, these people all went to rough situations and, uh, well, if they hadn't had some kind of inner purpose thinking, okay, I really want to do this and uh, this, this is what I think is right, we all agreed on, well, they wouldn't have made it. They wouldn't have made it possible to, to implement their ideas and, and yeah, their visions. And what came immediately along with this idea was that leaders also need, yeah, perse perseverance, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, perseverance, again, to, to go through rough situations. So it might be with employees, other students, children, whoever. And um, at the same time, this is what represents, so the leader has his, idea, his or her idea in mind and yeah, tries to implement this idea. This is what flexes represents. But at the same time, a leader also must be able to react to um, yeah, ch changing situations to people's demands, which is represented by the bends. But the leader always keeps in mind his or her idea, his vision, which is represented by never breaks. So, yeah, this is what we came up with. And we define leadership as an art of influencing collective action and aligning of strengths towards a desired goal. And if you look at this, if we are saying influencing, we are looking at issue of change, a leader being able to um, affect other people towards a given direction. Collective action, we're looking at the inclusion, not leaving anybody behind, not leaving any views behind. And then aligning strengths, we are looking at that we are having different capabilities in this organization. There are people who are good in management, others are good in communication, others are good in planning. But again, we cannot put all these qualities in equal proportion in the in the leadership, so you need to take 10% of uh, management or maybe planning, 50% of, uh, of, of uh, maybe another skill, 10% of the other, and if we align all these together, then they will help us to reach our goal. So we shouldn't lose focus of where we are going to in as far as we are combining all these skills. So what we come up with as um, leadership is about the art of engaging people to realize a common horizon. So it's about engaging because um, so it's about the, uh, the ability to communicate with people, to motivate them. So, um, so realize then uh, for the ability to um, be able, it's a this requires like management ability. <laughs> so, and the horizon uh, stand for um, the leader being like a dreamer, like being able to foresight.